Hi, my name's Adam Visser. I'm the Director of Critical Care at Toowoomba Hospital. I've been a doctor since my internship in 2000. I've worked in intensive care for about 15 years now. I think it's a great place to work. The things that drew me to intensive care medicine were, I guess, looking after the, the sickest of the sick patients, um, being there to really try and make a difference. Palliative care in intensive care is, is also quite rewarding uh, and we you know, we think that speaking to families and having difficult conversations is an important part of intensive care and there are specific aspects to that that we, that we learn in our registrar training. Having a difficult conversation is always a station on our fellowship exam. Uh, so communication with the family and having that, that personal interaction with them is an important and rewarding part of the job. The other things I like about intensive care is that you never know what's going to happen. You can turn up to work and the unit look really quiet and then within an hour or two you can have three or four admissions, some of whom are critically unwell. Uh, you can be short of beds and, and managing patients on the wards that would normally come down to intensive care uh, and you, your whole day could have changed and not knowing what you're going to be doing as you walk into work for the day is, is an attraction for me. Regional hospitals such as Toowoomba, I think, are a, a much more rewarding place to work than a large city hospital. I think increasingly in tertiary centres, people are single organ doctors, uh, and so they look after a single organ. Where there isn't that availability of a, a subspecialist for every organ, we tend to look after the patients as a whole more in regional centres, uh, and that's, I find, much more rewarding. The other advantage to working in Toowoomba is that I, I think it's a bit of the best of both worlds to some extent. So it is a large enough place that we, you know, we do see interesting and rewarding cases all the time. From my point of view, Toowoomba is a great place to live and work. Uh, it's a fairly large country town. Everything's in close proximity. So I live on the outskirts of town. Uh, it takes me eight minutes to drive to work, um, maybe nine or 10 if I am driving at school pickup time. Toowoomba's the gateway to the Darling Downs. Uh, within half an hour, we can be in national parks and rainforest. Uh, there's lots, lots of places to go for a, a weekend away um, as you head further west. And so we, you really get the benefits of a, of a country lifestyle. And yet, if you do want to go to Brisbane, we're only an hour and a half uh, on the highway, and it's about two hours to the beaches of the Gold Coast. So um, in terms of geography, Toowoomba's perfect. Workwise, the great thing about working in Toowoomba is that you really feel like you're part of the community and that you're coming to work to treat the community rather than just doing a job. Toowoomba is a relatively small hospital. Even as interns, people can make an impression and start to get get their intensive care pathway started. Um, usually by people's second or third year if they have expressed an interest in the critical care streams of anaesthetics and intensive care then they would start to be on our radar for getting PHO and registrar positions in their third and fourth years. Whilst it's always good to have a, you know, a, a good looking CV with lots of research and overseas volunteering positions etc, uh, I think what we're really looking for in the people that we're going to be working with every day is, is a commitment to intensive care medicine, uh, a, a real interest and passion in kind of looking after the sickest of the patients uh, and people who demonstrate that they can be part of a team. We work very closely uh, with each other, you know, you certainly very rarely would be doing a ward round on your own without interacting with 10 nurses, physiotherapists, other allied health members, uh, as well as lots of doctors both from within the intensive care team and throughout the hospital. So being part of a team and being able to interact in a in a cohesive environment such as that is, is very important. Uh, so displaying those abilities in your kind of junior years gets you noticed by us as someone who, who has intensive care potential. I got into the intensive care specialty 15 or 20 years ago now and things were pretty different back then. It was, it was almost a casual process. These days the process is obviously a, a lot more formal. Uh, but that personal connection with people is, is still quite important. Once you've been accepted onto the College of Intensive Care Medicine training pathway, it's a six-year training program. 
that includes the six months of foundation training that you will have already done before registering, just to ensure that you enjoy intensive care medicine and do see it as a pathway that you'd be happy with. Uh, there's then two years of further training within an intensive care unit, 12 months of which needs to be in a tertiary unit, learning specialties such as cardiac surgery and neurosurgery. There's 12 months in each of medicine and anaesthetics. There's also a requirement to spend a further six months doing an elective. The final 12 months of the training pathway is a transitional year. The prerequisites to join the intensive care training program are that you are generally medically registered with the Medical Board of Australia and that you have completed your first two postgraduate years. To be eligible to register with the College of Intensive Care Medicine, you'll be required to complete six months of foundation training in an accredited intensive care unit, of which Toowoomba is one. The process for applying to the College of Intensive Care Medicine in Queensland is through the RMO recruitment campaign. The Queensland Intensive Care Training Pathway provides a centralised selection and allocation process. This pathway will ensure that you get your required terms and allocations so that you move through the pathway, saving you the hassle of having to find jobs yourself. So I did my intern year actually in Toowoomba Hospital in the year 2000. Uh, and I went through a slightly different pathway to what's available now. So I, uh, I thought I wanted to be a physician. Uh, I did basic physician training uh, both here at Toowoomba Hospital as a junior registrar and then moved to the Gold Coast Hospital. Uh, and then I developed an interest in intensive care. There wasn't the College of Intensive Care Medicine back in those days. It was a, a, what was called the Joint Faculty of Intensive Care, which was kind of half physician's college and half anaesthetic college. Uh, so I officially did advanced physician training in intensive care and became an intensive care physician. So I'm qualified as a physician, but I work solely in intensive care now. That pathway is not really available at the moment. You have to do dual training with both colleges separately to some extent if you wanted to do that today. Going down the career pathway of your choice back in the early 2000s wasn't as competitive as it was now. These days things are more formal and certainly more competitive uh, even in a regional hospital like Toowoomba which in five ten years past has really struggled to recruit junior doctors we are now well and truly oversubscribed in people who want to come and work in Toowoomba. And I think that's partially because things are more competitive throughout the state, but also because I think Toowoomba is getting recognised as a great place to come and work uh, and a very interesting place to live. Toowoomba has become a much more vibrant city than it was 20 years ago. And there's lots of places to go eat and drink and, and things to do, which uh, is, is great for anyone who comes to live in Toowoomba.